show you guys how to make tamale pie for Christmas. So um, I have <coughs> ground the meat and I have it ready and I used about a pound of ground uh, beef and about a, a fourth to a half a pound of ground pork in it and you can put anything you want to in it and as much as you want to I guess. Anyway, I chopped up a half of a green pepper, just bell pepper, and you can also add hot peppers to it if you want to, and a, a huge onion, and I have it all um, uh, sautéed in a pan and ready to mix in. And so in the other larger <coughs> pan then, I have a can of cream chicken soup, a very small, the smallest can of diced olives drained and put into that and about a third a cup of, of tomato sauce. You can use as much tomatoes if you want to use fresh tomatoes or canned tomatoes or, or tomato juice, but I just use about a third of a can of tomato sauce in this and about a half a cup of corn. And the fresh corn that you um, make if you have it already cooked, it's, if you make a cream style, not uh, it doesn't uh, do well for the whole grain corn. I just mixed it up and got it hot so that it won't take very long. So to that I'm going to just add the, the bell pepper and the onion. And you can see I use a lot of onion and not so much pepper, but if you like the bell pepper, you can add as much as you want to. This is sort of a do-it-yourself project. You don't have to go by what I say. But I would say one large onion and a half of green bell pepper or red if you want to use it. And hot pepper add to that if you want to. And then I do add some black pepper. I just pour in some black pepper. You can always <coughs> put more pepper on it if you want to at the table. And some chili powder. And I don't know <coughs> I don't always add the same amount because I don't always have the same amount of meat and everything. So I would say, oh, I would say a, to start off with a <coughs> not quite a tablespoon of chili powder to see if that looks like enough. I just go by the way it looks. If you like chili powder, you can add as much as you want to. But I would just start off with that. Sometimes you can taste of it and see if you think there's enough. It doesn't look like quite enough, so I'm going to add a little more. It kind of turns it a little brownish color and gives it a fairly good flavor. So you heat that up on medium heat. <coughs> and then I add, because um, you're going to make up quite a bit amount, a big amount there, I think I'd put about a a small mug of cornmeal and um, about that much flour, whatever amount, about half and half, I would think, to thicken it all up. And you stir that all up in the bowl with the meat, with the cooked meat that's already cooked and drained. <coughs> So we're getting ready here to put it all together. It's not going to take very long. Now I don't think I'm good at making videos. But anyway, I just add the whole mess into the other stuff that I mentioned. Turn the heat up a little bit so you get it started cooking. You might need a bigger pan than this. <laughs> I should have probably used a bigger pan. But just not stir it out. So <coughs> you have to have some liquid to um, mix this mess all up with. So you can use any any kind of liquid you want to. <coughs> if you have chicken broth or beef broth or anything like that, you can even use water, but it just don't taste quite as well. So I'm, well, I'm, I'm just going to use a cup. A, a mug, I think, of, of rich milk. I don't think uh, the low calorie milk would taste too good. It gives it a creamy taste. And it's going to cook up and get thick. So everything is already heated up, you know, and the meat is already <coughs> cooked. 
could add some more liquid. But we like so you can dip it out of the bowl with a spoon, you know, and not have it runny or anything. So all that is not runny. <coughs>
just go around changing this recipe if we wanted to. <laughs> so we stayed really good friends as long as she lived on Michigan Street. And our kids all grew up and, well, my three grew up and my sister Nadine grew up and they all liked the tamale pie and we were always making it. And uh, her son grew up and got married and, and then she moved to Sacramento after her husband died. <coughs> and uh, she came back over here to see me a few times after that and then I lost contact with her and I haven't heard from her in several years and I kept trying to find out and Joe Ellen kept trying to find out around Sacramento if there were any inlands that lived over there and just recently after all these after about 15 years I found out that she got killed in a car accident so that was really sad because I never she was a really good friend and I didn't know what went with her and she just like she dropped out of sight so that was our story about the tamale pie and we made up lots of things Lo I have lots of recipes that her and I changed around and did it our own way and she was just a wonderful cook she could just cook anything. Anyway, we're just going to put the tamale pie in the oven, but I left something in here, which reminds me, I never, ever put any, like, I never turn my oven on unless I look in it. But I was trying to clean up the kitchen in a hurry, and I set something in it, because when Joe was little, about three years old, she put her cat in the oven, and one day, I turned on the old gas oven and you never heard such a noise. So usually I never but in fact turn that oven on without looking to see if it's all cleared out because I don't want no more cats in the oven. Well, it turned out okay. It just started to get warm up and <coughs> the cat was okay. So anyway, that's the way I make tamale pie. You can make up as much of it as you want to. Just start out with, if you want to make a great big mess of it for a big huge crowds, you could use a couple of pounds of meat, and you don't, just any kind of ground up meat that you would like to use, and add anything to it that you want. If you don't like olives, you don't have to put that in it. But I think it's pretty tasty if you use chicken broth in it instead of milk. But that makes it creamy and nice, and that's the way we usually like it, and I think almost everybody likes it. So I hope all of you have a a good time trying to figure out these recipes for there and one that you make up and I hope you'll really have a real nice holiday season. Okay?